Athletes across the globe are preparing for the 2024 Paris Olympics. And locally, their immediate task is the South African Nationals and World Championship qualification. That's taking place from the 5th to the 10th of April. South Africa's top swimmer, Kayleen Corbett, is among the athletes hoping to impress this year. Recently recording a time of 2 minutes 25.81 seconds. This was at the SA Swimming Grand Prix meet that happened in Durban, crushing her competition by almost 10 seconds. Well, she's right here with me in studio, of course. Uh, very good morning, Kayleen. Thank you so much for coming through. Ten seconds. <laughs> I mean, look, if you're really trying to go for the gold medal, you don't have to make the other guys look bad. Yeah, um, it's just fun swimming. It's yeah. always just a, a good, yeah, a good rate. Like, I would say it was a good training mm. competition. Just, um, yeah, going out and trying to see how fast I can go. And it was a good weekend in the pool. Yeah. You yeah. happy with where you are right now? Because, yes. I mean, we are still, what, about about a year, a year and a half perhaps, away from the Olympics next year. Are you happy with where you are now? Yes, yeah, I think at the moment, like this year definitely is more about training than anything. So it's more important to be focused on the training than the racing this year. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes next year. Tokyo um, was a huge one for swimming. South African swimming, women's South African swimming particularly. You know, Tatiana doing what Tatiana did and the spotlight now is sitting very much on all of you guys who are women who are going to be going out there um, to Paris. Is there any pressure or do you feel if there is that you're putting it on yourself and not necessarily Morena as a broadcaster, <laughs> ENCA, you know, all the other channels, all the other radio stations, all the other print media. Are you putting the pressure on yourself or do you feel the pressure from us? Well, I think like at the end of the day, what happened was after Tokyo, um, well, after we can go back as far as 2016, yeah. where we had zero women on the team. So, I mean, just allowing like going, going into 2021, we absolutely smashed it mm. and had so many women on the team. We, we were more women on the team than men. And that's something we're proud of, you know. Um, so at the end of the day, like that's what us as women, we, I think that's our goal is mm. to go and like, smash it for South Africa at the end of the day and I don't really think that there is pressure where we at and I think we're happy with where we are at the moment as a women's team yeah. Um, yeah and just going in and like doing what we did in 2021 would be absolutely amazing because we have Lara we have Tatiana we yeah. have um, yeah we have Erin Gallagher we have Emma Chelius I mm. mean there's so many amazing women out there right now smashing it in the pool and yeah that's about what we're doing Kayleen, <laughs> but it's not easy though. it's not easy because going to an Olympic Games requires support support emotionally support physically support financially and you've had to go about getting your way your own way without the help of those who are supposed to help you now and, and I'm going to be honest about it and be direct and frank about it you've not gotten the help you're supposed to from the association I talk of SESCO you've now had to go about it getting your own way and you've done so using the platform that is match kit talk to yes. us about how you've been able to do it yourself and how it is that other swimmers male female and junior and senior can also go about doing it themselves Yes, yeah. Um, well, when we have incredible platforms like MatchKit, um, we, we are able to be, be hooked up with, with brands like HTH, for instance, that I, yeah. I recently got involved with, which is incredible. And I don't think that it's something new at the end of the day. Like we, we've been relying on the private sector for a while mm -hmm. now. Um, but at the end of the day, like we can't really um, blame anyone. Like we're not in the in the process of playing a game, a blame game. Like yeah. we are here to to how do I say deliver for South Africa and to swim as fast as we can. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we've proved it in the past that we can. We work hard. You get the job done, and you don't. You don't. How do I put it? Blame anyone for mm. that. Like you, we, we're not in the game of showing weakness. We're not in the game of um, blaming others when we're not performing. Mm. Like if you're not performing in the pool, it's you. <laughs> you have to work harder. You have to be better. Yeah. And um, yeah, the support um, also comes when you're doing well. Yeah. So if you swim fast, you'll get more support. You'll get more, f whether it's financial, whether it's like emotional, whether it's getting South Africa behind mm. you. Um, if you swim fast, people like you. So that's that's what we have to do is you have to train hard. Um, you have to achieve mm. and yeah. How important to your journey has Mike Sharman and Match Kit been? And, and you know, 
how important to just the landscape of South African sport, not just swimming, is a match kit? Yeah, I think they, they play a pivotal role in a lot of um, athletes' lives at this stage. So it really is important to like be able to say that like I'm associated with a brand like Matchkit um, mm. that then also go on to like get more people get get more people involved, um, get more people to notice you. Um, and yeah, it's it's easier as a swimmer to just be behind the scenes working hard, doing yeah. my thing in the yeah. pool. And it really takes a lot of pressure off of me to have other people go out there and go, listen, like we have a really exciting swimmer, or we have a great athlete on our on like on the rise mm. or whatever. Um, yeah, and that's their role. So we both, both Match Kit and myself, I think like Mike, we understand one another. Mm. It's it's I do the work in the pool, I perform, and then their job is to to get the brands interested and to yeah. get people interested. And they're doing an incredible job with that because, I mean, it's not just them linking people to brands. It's mm. them at the end of the day, um, yeah, just getting people involved. And they have a crowd fund at the moment um, running for Mash Kit where you can adopt an athlete. And yeah. you can, um, yeah, I mean, it's not about... At the end of the day, people think that it's it's these big brands needing yeah. to adopt an athlete, yeah. but it, it's not. Like the public of South Africa can get involved and help help swimmers, yeah, and help athletes. And yeah, we have plenty of athletes who who need the support and who need the help. Most definitely, especially because we're going to an Olympic Games next year. Quick question, very quick, yes. very simple answer: gold, silver, bronze, <laughs> Paris. Um, yeah, I think it's just Paris, and we're gonna. My motto in 2021 was just happy to be there yeah. and next year it's the same thing i'm just happy to be there i'm just happy to represent my country and i'm going to have fun <laughs> i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to bring you back into this enc studio next year after the olympics and yeah. i'm hoping that on around your neck is a gold medal no and pressure and a big smile and a face. huge smile a big smile cuz i had fun <laughs> <laughs> Kayleen, thank you so much for coming through thank, thank you so you. much for everything you're doing and i mean i think thank you as well to match kit for for supporting you and supporting all the athletes that they do adopt an athlete guys Adopt an athlete. That's what Kayleen is asking for. That's what all athletes are asking for, not just for the Olympics, but just to go ahead of uh, beyond the Olympics. That was South African swimmer Kayleen Corbett joining us, of course, to chat about the upcoming swimming events.